Yeah. Always since being from six coming up. Why do you think that is? Do you know? Do you have a, a, an idea of where it started? Mm, uh, I had meningitis when I was younger, and then after that I got epilepsy. I went on medication, and from the medication I put weight on. Mm. Then from growing up, I started putting a bit more, and then I fell pregnant mm. at age 15. I had it at 16, mm. and then from that it's just gone up and up and up. And you say you've got into this cycle of eating, being bullied, because you were bullied yeah. at school, uh, or being teased in your later yeah. years, and that's made you desperately unhappy, and you've gone back and you've eaten, and, that, and that's led to this, what is a vicious cycle. Yeah, the only thing I control is what I eat. Yes. And that's why I do it, because people bully me, and I just think comfort food's better mm. than going back out there and letting them bully me. This, what you've said, and I know you are, you are desperately nervous today, and, uh, uh, and part of that reason is the huge backlash that there's been on social media and uh, in some of the newspapers and their yeah. vicious comment sections underneath, which I never read, by the way. Mm. Um, Don't scroll down ever. Ever, never, ever look down there. Um, but can you understand, when we get to the crux of why you're here, why people feel so outraged at what you might have said. Yeah, I understand that. I do get benefits and tax payers like pay for me. But I've got a daughter with ADHD and I help a lot with my brother. I'm a carer for my brother as well. Yeah. Mm. But but um, the thing is that, that a lot of people would see that as being a sort of a, a, a maybe making excuses, and I'm only mm. putting the questions to you, which they'll be shouting at their tellies, is that if you, if, you, if you say, I have this happening at home, I have this happening at home, which we completely understand, and that must be very difficult for you, that's, that's a hard job. Um, but there are many people who have that and, and don't resort to eating. But I suppose one of the interesting things as a taxpayer that I get crossed about, hence one of my project about this putting weight on to lose it, was that I always said people shouldn't expect taxpayers to pay for gastric bypass. But, yeah, but I don't want surgery. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't want surgery. I want to prove to my kids and myself I can do it myself. Mm -hmm. I want something like something to do with the gym. Not just for me, for working people, the gym to be lowered, the swimming to be lowered, the cost of food to be lowered, because there's people like that. And I think the other thing is, as well, isn't it, and i found, since I got bigger, and I appreciate it with different sizes, but it's a similar process, I used to say, for goodness sake, put your trainers on and go for a run. But mm. actually, sometimes you find you get to the... I get to the front door, door. and then I, like, climb up and shut it and go back in thinking, like, if I walk down that street or run down that street, people are going to laugh at me. Mm. And I just think, oh. Do you know the other really interesting thing? Because obviously I'm on Twitter a lot, mm -hmm. um, and I would obviously advise, as you would advise, don't look at the comments. But one of the things they attack people most for, have attacked you for, is your orange yeah. hair and, and your the tattoos. But it's an armor. It's like a body armor yeah. to keep me safe. Mm -hmm. And that's interesting because she's 20. How many stones? Just like just. Around about 25 stone. 25 stone. But the thing they're talking about is her hair mm. and her tattoos. tattoos. And that's interesting. We do these things. Yeah. I have got these, sorry, silver shoes. And it's a similar thing. You put stuff on mm. to deflect from our size. I understand that. And we are, and we are, you have changed entirely today. You are an entirely different person. You've softened right up because mm. you're sitting next to I know how it is. I mean, I, I, yeah, I understand. I only put on half my body weight, which took me to 12 stone, but I understand this thing about getting to the front door and thinking people are going to call you names. So has, yeah. so has you doing what you've done changed the Katie Hopkins that we that we know and who sat here ranting and raving? You're a, you're a different I'm still person. a tough person. I'd still say to your face, I wouldn't employ you because you're big, because I know how hard it is to be fat. But the interesting thing is, whilst I say there are no excuses for being fat, we do have our reasons. Mine was a project, which is <clears throat> not relevant, but yours, your reasons are many. Mm. Your excuses are actually few. And what you actually wanted to say in your article, wasn't it, was that you want help. Yeah. Yes. And, Katie, you have found, haven't you, during the making of this documentary <laughs> that you're doing, that most problems 
to do with being either bigger or smaller mm. are steeped in emotion and and stuff that's happened to you resort to food exactly so you would look at Christina and maybe me if I was just uh, less well uh, that you would say we have got physical problems and clearly you know it is it's having your BMI is 50 that's not great that's you know mm. that's reducing your life by great. 10 years and it's you've got great. kids you know that's not great I want to live for my kids but what we both agree I suspect is that weight is much more of a mental mm. issue in yeah. terms of it's a thing in your head than it is a thing of your body. Would you say the same? Yeah. And if yeah. it is a mental thing, uh, a, a psychological thing, yeah. which yeah. is a much nicer way to yeah. Yeah. it. Yeah, that's the better word. Um, if, it, if it is that and deep-seated, and, and you've explained, you know, this goes back a long way, um, how can the government possibly help you? If you are looking, it, it appears that you can eat less. Mm. You can eat healthily and it doesn't have to cost a fortune because a baked potato isn't that much and if that's all you have and then maybe a little bit of beans or something like that then that's your meal and the, the thing is that if you, you don't have to eat organic food you don't have yeah. to do all of that it's just a case of and, and there is no magic wand to losing weight and I'm, and I'm not I've put I've parked the psychological issues here um, it is exercising more and eating less if you can't do that how will asking the government for a voucher possibly help mm. you? Uh, I think yeah. sometimes it's kind of you get to a point probably where you went to a doctor, didn't you? Yeah. And they said that your BMI was... 15, it was too high. Yes. Too high for help. And then um, there are, for example, groups uh, where people go. I would call them fat clubs. They would call themselves Slimming World, Weight Watchers, whatever the brand. But they would be less inclined to help because you're maybe too large and so it becomes a problem and it's expensive to join those I think that was really what yeah. you were trying to say wasn't yeah. it? Yes. Uh